my channel welcome back to another video i'm jesse and you are watching welcome welcome to another black girl magic vlog in this series, I critically analyze and review the ways that black girls are represented in the science fiction and fantasy genres. I have a whole playlist of these videos that I will leave linked down below where you can check out the history and evolution of this series. It is my favorite series, the longest running series on my channel, and I just absolutely love it from the crown of my head all the way to the tips of my toes. I love that we have so many black girl magic books coming out in the industry, and I'm going to be trying to review four to get through four of them in this vlog i don't know where my copy of the conductors is she it really is the underground railroad because i don't know where she's at where you, no like where did you go where'd you go disappeared like my birth father the books that i'm going to be reading in this vlog the gilded ones everybody's most anticipated release, right? This is about a girl who has been training her whole life, anticipating her whole life for the blood ceremony. She has this unnatural intuition that already distances her from the rest of her community. And so she wants everything to go smoothly and to be proven as one of the clan. And on the, the night of her ceremony, her blood runs gold instead of red, which means she has to be banished and is being hunted. And it's supposed to also be quite brutal, which I am excited about. And this is just, the cover is, I don't know what more that one could want from a cover. I also am going to be reading Before She Ignites, which is the first in the series. I think it's a trilogy. This was sent to me from Addie of Books and Tea Time. Addie, I already said it in my last book haul, but I really, really appreciate you for sending me this book that I've been dying to read. This book is about a girl named Mira who is a hope bearer and she has been told her whole life that she is special and important because of this peace treaty that she has been named after. So she has a lot to live up to even though she doesn't feel like she's special or important or particularly worthy of this praise. However, she is betrayed by the very people she has spent her life serving to protect and placed in the pit to languish. Essentially, this is about her having to survive on her own and unearthing what are called scorch trials. And I'm very excited about this. Then we have Reaper of Souls, the second book in the Kingdom of Souls series. This is one of my most highly anticipated releases, again, with the stunning, most perfect book cover I've ever seen in my freaking life. So excited about this. I'm so excited for the adaptation. I I just really, really can't wait. You might see me rereading Kingdom of Souls in this vlog too, just because I read the arc like before it even came out. So it's been, I feel like it's been like two years since I have read this book. And then of course I'm going to be reading The Conductors, another one of my most anticipated releases. I think it is time to just dig into these books. I am filming another vlog at the same time as this one and that is a vlog for my Badass Bruja series. I review magical realism, books that feature brujas, brujos, and brujics individuals as a brujo and an Afro-Chicano myself. So I'm going to be bringing this to the dog park that is where Akasha and I are currently headed I'm going to be doing some training with her as well as just letting her run free which one should I start I think I'm just going to start with the book oh no okay I'm gonna start with the gilded ones this is the book that I'm going to be bringing with me to the dog park and I'm gonna take the jacket off so that I don't get sand and puppy drool all over it let's get into it
I'm screaming. <laughs> it was so pretty. And then I realized it was too big for my my pizza pan. So I tried to use this cardboard and then it just it just fell apart. It just it's suffering. No. <laughs> well, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so it started smoking in the oven. So I took it out and I couldn't transfer it from the cardboard because it was stuck. So then I just I I I ultimately put it in I like covered it I covered it in the cardboard with this and then I flipped it upside down and then tried to reflip look <laughs> it's suffering and so we're just gonna we're just gonna put it in the oven and see what happens we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens yeah it's gonna be great we're doing great we're um we're doing great one hour later I let it cook <laughs> While I was filming um, the LGBTQ, like the Leeds Fest video, which I'll leave linked down below. So that's why I, I just outfit switched in the middle of the vlog. But it doesn't look that bad, right? Like an actual crust formed. It's a little uneven, but it still looks like a pizza. It's more like a calzone, like a... Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> it's not what I envisioned, but it's... um. It's going in my body, so. Hi, I'm about to take my makeup off and do a face mask, but I wanted to jump on and do a reading update. Uh, I am 100 pages into the Gilded Ones, and I think y'all are insane for saying that the best thing about the book was the cover. It's amazing. The <laughs> violence, the gore, the way that you just jump right into the story and we world build as we go along. All of it's really cool. The compelling, interesting characters. The creatures, like the Inuks, I don't know how to say it. That thing is cool. Haunting, but cool. I also am, what am I, 50 pages into Before She Ignites? No, 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 I'm on page 76. I know shit about stuff. And I'm enjoying that book as well. I'm not enjoying it as much as the Gilded Ones, but I am still liking it. I'm liking the atmosphere. It is a really atmospheric book. That's one thing that I'm definitely loving about Before She Ignites. But before my pimples ignite, I gotta take off my makeup. What is happening there? So this is the last you're gonna be seeing of cute Jessie for a minute. I wanted to show you some of my new earrings. Cause y'all know I'm really big into earrings. Like how cool are these? They're just, and they're made of like foam. They're very, I'm gonna wear this for some sort of vintage look. I think these would be perfect. These ones though are like my favorite, my new favorite pair. Just look at them, <laughs> look at them. What are those? So cool. And then I also got these. You will probably have seen them in, I think it was my Sapphicathon vlog, but look. These are cool, right? Like more kind of modern classic vibe. I really enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna stop stalling and unbeat my face.
my channel. It is next day. I am all vintage out. Woke up, did some cleaning, lots of reading on the patio. I am like 30 pages away from Kilted Ones. I've just been flying through it. We are loving the book. I will say the writing is very 2000s melodramatic. So it's very cheesy. It's very cliche, but I'm still enjoying the book for what it is. I really like the black girl representation and I enjoy how much it emphasizes the roles that black girls are forced to play in society and how to break out against those roles. And it's really good. The other criticism I have for it though, is that it's a bit, it's a bit ham handed with the feminist messaging. Now, that being said, I'm still enjoying the book. I would much rather a book be kind of overboard with the feminist messaging than not having it at all, you know? As I was opening my door to see if I had any mail, it was just kismet. The mail person was walking up my porch steps as I opened the door, holding this package, this, Gaha, holding my new roller skates. If you've been following me on my Instagram, you know that my beloved, my precious roller skates were stolen. It broke my heart. It literally set me into a depressive episode because roller skating and these skates in particular have become my home. And it just, it just devastated me to the point where I didn't even know if I wanted to order new ones or continue rollerblading because I was just so hurt and I just felt oddly violated. And y'all were so nice on Instagram. I had so many offers from y'all asking what my Venmo was so that y'all could help me order new skates. And I declined those offers, but I just wanted to say if you were one of those people that did offer, I did really appreciate it. It was touching. Honestly, like your support and your love that you showed me as I was going through that awful experience was was more than enough. So I ordered myself some new skates and I wanted to unbox them here for y'all. I posted on my Instagram that I got the box, but I was like, nope, you have to watch the vlog. Only those who are checking out this Black Girl Magic vlog have the privilege of seeing these skates unboxed in real time. Okay, not real time because I'm just so excited, y'all. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, they're even more beautiful in person. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that new skate smell! Not me squealing high enough for dogs all across the world to hear. Look at them. Look at them. I am so excited to break them in. It sucks that I'm all dolled up today because I, I just want to go roller skating. So later when I change out of these clothes, definitely gonna go roller skating. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Look at them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. They're beautiful. These, these are so, so beautiful. Oh, breaking these in is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but I am absolutely ready. And I just wanted to go with something retro. I also love that these are the trans flag colors. I just really love these, like very 1950s vibes, which is also the outfit that I'm wearing. Okay, so I'm going to get back to reading, but before I do that, I have some errands to run. Akasha doesn't like her dog food, so we are going to go experiment and find a food that she likes and ease her into that food. I was going to vacuum out my car because it's so messy, but the spirits told me that this is what I needed to wear today and this is how I needed to present. And so that is what I'm doing. I'll have to vacuum another day. And I'm just really feeling a desire to be grounded and at home today. So I'm going to listen to that voice and do just lots and lots of reading, editing, and content creating. I need to film a unboxing video because I have a bunch of boxes. So that is going to go up probably well before this vlog does and I will leave it down below if you want to see a full unboxing I have like six or seven boxes to unravel including my monthly feminist book club box awfully good 
Sorry, I am just living my Johnny Mathis life today. Chances are is, okay, what is happening here? I'm just gonna hold it. This tripod is going through a lot. Chances are so freaking good. I love that song. If there are any other Johnny Mathis fans in the house, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite song by him is. I just wanted to give a super quick reading update. I am really enjoying Before She Ignites. I did not realize that this is not a story from a black author. I will definitely keep you posted on how I'm feeling about the black girl representation. I feel like she knows her stuff though because there was this line towards the beginning of the book that just had me cracking up because it's not a spoiler but the main character is locked in a cell. She's in a cell. She's in prison for the first time and she's talking to her cellmate and is like yo you got a knife? I mean that's not how she said it but that's how I'm gonna say it. She's like yo you got a knife? And he's like no and she goes I just wanted to cut a piece off of my dress so I can wrap my hair. Tell me you're black without telling me that you're black. So freaking good. Every time I come here, I want to get this. It's completely not my style, but I'm so drawn to it. What do y'all think? Can you tell me if this is ugly? It's also like $1 million, so there's that. give you a quick update on before she ignites did not know that this book had dragons and that dragons were such a big part of the book which i love i really love that the characters the side characters are very very interesting and i why and while i would love more from the world building simply because it's so fascinating i do enjoy the world building that we get our protagonist is a really interesting one and it's been fun getting inside of her head also i started my reread of kingdom of souls i'm not going to be giving you my thoughts on kingdom of souls because i already filmed a black girl magic reading vlog for that which i will leave linked down below and or in a card at the top of the screen but i will be giving you my full thoughts on reaper of souls i just want this vlog to be able to focus on the sequel as much as possible but if i notice anything or have any like wildly different opinions on kingdom of souls while i do my reread then i will pop in and let you know whoa, 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 whoa. 
Fuck. <laughs> Happy day somewhere in the middle of Wisconsin. So we left that for me. Stopped because just so tired. My friends' party went on until like two in the morning. So love this, love this for us. So I'm gonna take lots of breaks, lots and lots of rest during this drive in order to be as safe as possible. Some coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and had a strawberry donut. Their strawberry donut is so good. Their strawberry frosted one. And I picked up coffee, put like five shots of espresso in it. I've been listening to the audiobook for Conductors, which is amazing. It, the audiobook is read by Bonnie Turpin, who is just, she is my second favorite audiobook narrator the first is obviously oh my gosh what is her name emily why is her name escaping me no i can't remember her name for some reason but the the individual who did love boat taipei she also did um the poppy war just oh my god she's freaking amazing what is her name emily woo zeller hey <laughs> brought the wrong charger for my phone and since i am roughly four hours into my journey three or roughly like three hours into my journey and it's a 10 hour drive so about a third of the way done kill me audience right now i love the world building the characters the book is amazing i didn't know that the magic was based off of astrology and it's so freaking cool it's so cool y'all <laughs> yeah hi can we please have a sausage mcmuffin with egg Five hash browns, orange juice, and that's it. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Hi, Messy Jesse in the house. We are here rocking witches steeped in gold, only on page 15. 15, and already this is, I know this is gonna be our favorite book of the vlog. Favorite book of the vlog, favorite book of the year. The writing is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I'm getting 
from the writing what I wasn't getting in sh Before She Ignites and The Gilded Ones. It is so good. The world building is already, it's just like bam, bam, bam. Like you're in the world. We explain as we go along. It's, it, there's a little bit of showing, not telling, but there's so much showing that the telling doesn't, it is so good. It is so good. It is so good. It is so good. The dual perspectives already are, I've, I've invested in both. We are interested in both of them. We are in the scene. The, the centering of Jamaican folklore, mythology, and history is so good. You're fine, mom. My mama just came out on the deck looking fine. Say hi, mama. Hi, mama. <laughs> I love her. This book is so good. Like, I have the arc, and I already want to just go out and get the finished copy. I need it. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Mama just seasoned the barbacoa. It is about to go into the oven. We're gonna slow roast it for how long? Um, about six hours. Um, okay, yeah, about to take my roller skates out for the first time. So freaking stoked. Hello y'all. So a little bit of a heartbreak episode because the skates are too big and the wheels are not addressed, adjusted properly. And I know I could fix that with some help from YouTube, but I just think I'm, I'm gonna try and return them if they will allow. I literally only got a block. Like it, they just, they were, they were way too big. Thankfully, my wonderful mother brought a pair of roller blades and I strapped them on and they fit like just glove, chef's kiss and she was holding my hands. Oh, gotta be. She was holding my hands and leading me around the house uh, to see how maneuverable they were and how comfortable they were. And I really, really like them. So I'm gonna take a little break, read some more, and then I'm gonna go out later with Akasha on the roller skates, roller blades. So we'll see. And then mom and I today are going to be turning this deck into a reading oasis and we're going to be filming the process. I'm incredibly excited. I am wearing the roller blades that me Madre got me for the first time. They are fire. Really enjoying them. It is weird how they use an entirely different muscle set. So parts of my feet are already sore that aren't sore when I roller skate. Super weird, so I feel like I'm starting all over again. However, I think that these are objectively easier to skate in than roller skates. Let me know, those of you who have rollerbladed it and roller skated, which is easiest for you. Um, I figured I would update you on the conductors. I listened to that audiobook Con Mi Mama for most of our journey. I got about 75% of the way completed and I just have nothing but good things to say. I love that the magic is astrology based and ancestral. I'm freaking out. I did not realize, I did not realize that the Zodiac played such a big role in the conductors. It's very cool. I'm just loving the book. Like I said, it is so action-packed and just well plotted i love the mystery i i have nothing but good things to say about it like i said it's just phenomenal this definitely could be one of my favorite reads of 2021 but like I, it's it's amazing oh my god what is the other book that i'm reading and obsessed with oh nope i, I lost <laughs> <laughs> oh my god not my brain being actual garbage the other book wow i don't know why i can't think of this, the name of this book but those two books are my favorite. Okay, just forget it. <laughs> One hour later. As of right now, we are 87% of the way done with the conductors. This is going to be the easiest five stars of all of my lives. So I'm hoping that I can finish it on this round at the park. We will see. Good morning. Mama and I are on our way to get brunch and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna decorate this deck. So excited. I'm gonna take my mom to the mall today. If if we have time, maybe we're gonna go by the George Floyd Memorial because she wants to pay her respects. 
it's just gonna be a lovely, lovely day. We had a long walk around the park this morning. I took Akasha rollerblading, rollers, yeah, rollerblading. It was, it was great. And it's beautiful outside. Living. What, mom? Yeah, and mom walked <laughs> while I rollerbladed. <laughs> <laughs> One hour later. I'm funking screaming. <laughs> I hate this book. I, excuse the fact that my face is all just greasy. Just just grease. Just straight grease. Like oil in the fire. It's because I'm wearing sunblock and it's been a long day. And I just had to update y'all on which is steeped in gold because the the YA trope of like I can't describe this trope, but it's like an accidental encounter with someone who you're sure is going to be your love interest, you know? Um, okay, so specifically your male love interest. So this is what happened. Basically, one of our characters is somewhere that she's not supposed to be. All of a sudden, she hears a mysterious voice that says, you shouldn't be here. I start almost knocking my head on the tomb again. Do you hear me? He calls from across the graveyard, clothed only in loose sleeping bottoms, slung low on the chiseled grooves of his hips. He folds his arms over a chest. I'm not surprised. Is flayed with the puckered lines of scars. Of course he's covered in scars. I can't. I cannot. Oh my God, I cannot handle this one. messy counter because we are on our way to the adult arcade mm -hmm. mama's gonna play miss pac-man for the first time in what is it like 90 years <laughs> love you yeah she's a babe was literally facetiming with starla minding my own business just super happy and then mom's like let's go to the arcade and I was like, okay, so Starla and I wrapped up and now she getting ready. And she said she was ready before, but apparently not. <sighs> Tell me your mom is Mexican without telling me your mom is Mexican. <laughs> so excited. I can't wait to play my X-Men game. That is, that is my ish. Sorry that my bathroom is so messy. What happened? It's just, it's not that bad. There's not poop in the toilet. There's no poop in the toilet. That's correct. Thank you, mom. For... You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, hurry up. Gotta go to extreme. You're the extreme. I'm true. Is that bothering Also, I need to wear Afro puffs more often. I'm digging this. You rock rough and stuff. Afro, Afro puffs. puffs. Hey, rock on with your bad. Self. Lady of Rage, anyone? Lady no? of Rage. Comment down below if you're old enough to know Lady of Rage. Lady of Rage, holla if you're hearing this. It. We're about to go get menudo because it is Sunday. Look at this pretty dress. Yas. Get it, get it, get it. My channel welcome to the end of this black girl magic vlog this vlog was an absolute blast I think that this is one of my favorite black girl magic vlogs that I've ever filmed and I feel like I say that every single time I film one of these videos but the more that I film for the series the more that I love it I love that me mama was here and that you got to see us interact because our relationship we're both insane and I just love her so freaking much I am very proud of the fact that I read four books in this vlog, despite the fact that I wanted to read Reaper and Kingdom of Souls, that didn't happen, but I was thinking of doing a dedicated vlog for those books. Let me know if that's something that you are interested in, and maybe it will happen this month or next month, we will see. So comment down below if that is something that you want. Now I want to wrap up ratings and thoughts on these books. So the books that I read in this vlog were Witch is Steeped in Gold. I also read Before She Ignites and also The Gilded Ones. But the final book that I read was The Conductors. And 
let's talk about these books from least to most favorite. So the the least favorite book of this vlog is Witch is Steeped in Gold. Nobody is more shocked than I am. Flashback to the, the start of this vlog when I confidently proclaimed that this was going to be our favorite book of the vlog. R.I.P. This book took a turn. The writing became so insufferably cheesy. I think that the author was trying a little too hard to make the writing lyrical and flowery and it just wasn't working. I think that the author did so much better. Like her strong suit was writing into the world building and less exposition because the parts of the book where she tries to add like more descriptive and exposition just don't work out. There's a description <laughs> of a man's hair as liquid midnight. And just things like that that were so unbearably cheesy. And Liquid Midnight was the low end of, of my complaints. You are going to hear me talk at length about my issues with this book in my wrap up, but I just, there were so many things that I simply couldn't ignore. I could not ignore the writing that just wasn't hitting the mark. I could not ignore some of the really heavy handed tropes. And I didn't mind that it was tropey towards the beginning, but the lengthy villainous speech, before a murder scene. I just, we just simply couldn't do it. And ultimately I ended up giving this three stars. Next up at 3.5 stars, we have The Gilded Ones. I loved this book so much. I think that this is an amazing debut, an amazing start to the series, and I cannot wait to see what this author puts out next. I mean, I know that the next book is going to be the next book in the series, but I just have a feeling that this series is going to get better and better, and I'm so highly anticipating the next book already. I really enjoyed this book. I don't have much criticism for it. My biggest critique is that the writing definitely could be improved, but I still enjoyed it so, so freaking much. And the biggest thing about this book that was a miss for me is that once I put it down, I did not think about it at all. I really didn't have a desire to pick it back up again. So it seemed like I was really interested in it while reading, but the second I put the book down, it would kind of be a struggle for me to pick it back up. So I'm giving it 3.5 stars. Then at four stars, we have Before She Ignites. This is my biggest surprise. I'm really shocked that I enjoyed this book as much as I did. I did not have an issue with the black girl representation in this book or in any of the books that I read dur during the duration of this vlog, which is always a great thing. I think all of these books represented black girls in a variety of ways. I thought that the character work was wonderful and I didn't see anything problematic about how black girls were depicted in these books. I don't have much to say about this one. It's a four star. It just didn't have that five star magic for me, but I have no doubt that one of the books in this series could potentially have that for me. My favorite book of this vlog, the only book that I gave five out of five stars is none other than The Conductors. This was an amazing kick-ass start to the beginning of a series. I was wholly invested. I highly recommend the audiobook. Everything from the world building, the explanation of magic, the character work, the mystery of this novel. The mystery of this novel is so heavy and so heavily a focus. It just was amazing. The atmosphere, the pacing, no qualms, no concerns. I loved this book so much and it definitely is a contender for favorite book of the year or to be on that list of my top 10 favorites. So that is going to do it for this video. Since my favorite book of this vlog was The Conductors, why don't you leave a railroad emoji or a train emoji to symbolize the Underground Railroad? Yes, I know it wasn't an actual train. I know that some some wise joker is going to comment that. But yeah, let me know what other books you would like to see me review for this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. All of my social media links will be in the description box below and until next time stay safe wear your mask and i can't wait to see you in my next video